bps which stands for bits per second this is the smallest unit of data transfer speed a bit is the tiniest piece of digital information it can only have two values zero or one everything you see online videos photos messages is built from billions of these bits if your speed was one bps that means your connection can send or receive just one bit every second. That's painfully slow. To give you perspective, a single web page might contain several million bits. So, BPS is used mostly for theoretical understanding, not practical use. KBPS, which stands for kilobits per second. Kilo means 1,000. So, 1 kilobit per second equals 1,000 bits per second. Back in the 1990s, when the internet was young and noisy dial-up modems ruled the world, people connected at speeds like 28 kilobits per second or 56 kilobits per second. It could take minutes, sometimes hours, to download a single photo or song. At 56 kilobits per second, you could only download about 7 kilobytes per second. That's barely enough for simple emails or text messages. Today, KBPS speeds are rare, but still used in some basic IoT Internet of Things devices like sensors, trackers, or smart meters, where small bits of data are sent occasionally. MBPs, which stands for megabits per second. Mega means one million. So one megabit per second equals one million bits per second. This is the standard measurement for most home and mobile Internet speeds today. For example, 10 megabits per second enough for light browsing and one HD stream. 50 megabits per second can support multiple devices and video calls. 100 megabits per second, great for streaming, gaming, and downloading large files quickly. But there's a common confusion. One byte equals eight bits. That means a 100 megabits per second internet plan doesn't actually download at 100 megabytes per second. It downloads at 12.5 megabytes per second. So when you see your download speed looking smaller than your plans number, that's why. GBPS, which means gigabits per second. Giga means one billion. So one gigabit per second equals 1,000 megabits per second. At this speed, you can download an entire HD movie in just a few seconds. Fiber optic connections are the main source of gigabit internet today, providing speeds like one gigabit per second or even 10 gigabits per second in advanced regions. These connections use light signals through ultra-thin glass cables, transferring information almost at the speed of light. Businesses, gamers, and heavy streamers love GBPS speeds for their instant response times and zero buffering. TBPS. TBPS means terabits per second. One terabit equals 1,000 gigabits. That's a trillion bits per second. TBPS speeds are found in Internet backbone networks the invisible highways that move data between continents. For instance, the underwater fiber cables connecting countries may transfer data at multiple terabits per second. At 1 TBPS, you could download the entire Netflix library in less than 30 seconds. But this isn't available to regular users. It's for global scale providers like Google, Meta, or major telecom companies that handle enormous data flows every day. PBPS which means petabits per second. Peta means one quadrillion bits per second. That's 1,000 terabits. This scale is currently used in research labs and high-performance computing centers. Scientists test these ultra-fast transmissions to prepare for the next generation of Internet infrastructure. Imagine entire countries sharing and backing up data in real time, or AI models learning from trillions of parameters instantly. That's the kind of future PBPS speeds will make possible. EPS, which stands for exabits per second. One exabit equals 1,000 petabits, or one quintillion bits per second. At exabit speeds, you could transfer the entire contents of the global Internet in a matter of seconds. No country, business, or organization operates at this scale yet, but some global cloud and AI systems are being designed with exabit potential in mind. This is the realm of the future digital universe, where everything is connected in real time, from cities and satellites to human neural interfaces. ZBPS, which stands for zettabits per second. That's one sextillion bits per second. To put it in perspective, if you could send one zettabit every second, 
you'd move more data than the entire human race generates in a day, in just one blink. ZBPS is mostly a theoretical measure right now. But as the Internet of the future expands, with quantum computing, deep space communications, and AI data exchange between planets, this scale may become reality. YBPS, which stands for yottabits per second. One yottabit equals one septillion bits per second. That's a number so massive, it's almost beyond imagination. At yottabit speeds, you could transmit the entire Internet's data millions of times per second. This is the frontier of futuristic communication, possibly what interplanetary or galactic networks would use one day. It's not science fiction. It's the logical destination of data evolution. Just like we moved from KBPS to MBPs in only a few decades, one day, Yadabit networks might power the digital worlds we can't yet imagine. If this helped you understand internet speeds clearly, like the video, subscribe. Thank you for watching.